everybody. Good morning. Good morning, comrades. Yes, uh, that's a better one. My name is Stephen Mbogwa Wanjiru. I'm an advocate of the High Court of Kenya and a council member with the Law Society of Kenya, co-convening the Public Interest and Human Rights Committee. And uh, today, on behalf of the human rights community and uh, on behalf of the Law Society of Kenya, we want to welcome each and every one of you to this particular event. We are looking forward to a space where we are going to have interactions, interactions on what happened during the protests, people who faced serious political brutality. We have a few who have volunteered to share with us, and we have also called upon all the members of the public who suffered the same fate to share the information with us. We want to discuss, a play, a space, have a space of discussion on what next? What next when it comes to justice? What next when it comes to the people we lost during the protest as they struggled for this liberation? What next when it comes to the issues of governance? What next when it comes to adherence to the constitution and the rule of law in this country? What? And it is our, my sincere hope and trust that this conversation will be a candid one and an honest one because there is no other better time to have this kind of conversation than this one we do have right now. This is the season, and the God blessed us to be in this particular space of this country at this time so that we can forge and provide a forward, not just for ourselves, but even for the future generation. So thank you very much. Feel at ease and uh, encourage your friends and colleagues, wherever they are, uh, to find their way here and especially those who have uh, evidently suffered through this protest and are victims of police brutality and um, abuse of human rights. God bless you, and we look forward to a great interaction as we move forward. Viva! Thank you. Thank you so much, Chief Rat Steve Wanjiru. So the next segment is uh, introductory remarks and objective setting. And uh, we will welcome Happy Olal to the stage for this. Viva, comrades, viva. viva. More power to the people, more power. Viva. Down with police brutality, down. Viva. Down with corruption, down. My name is Happy Olal, Convener Social Justice Center's working group. Uh, before we start, I will request for a minute of silence to all comrades whom we lost during this struggle. Long live the undying spirit of our comrades, long live. long live. You may take your seats. Uh, two days ago, we were at the Kenyatta National Hospital. We went to visit our comrades uh, who have been admitted there because of uh, police brutality. Uh, up to now, there are around 25 comrades, between 25 and 30, who still have gunshots in their bodies. They are yet to, to be removed. But the country seems to be moving on very fast. We seem to be fast forgetting. There are comrades who are still being found in rivers and forests. The president is focusing on saving his, his job, his career, his presidency. 
I appreciate what you've done so far. Uh, only, if only three weeks has sent the finance bill home, cabinet home, what if, <laughs> what if another three weeks could do? Uh, today we are meeting here one to reflect on what we've achieved so far and uh, to learn our lessons what the challenges the successes today we are meeting here to to remember all the comrades who've injured, lost limbs, who've lost lives, asking ourselves, did they have to go through what they went through? Today, we're also meeting here to remind the government of accountability. We saw the cabinet going home, but the inspector general is still in office. We must continue injecting. Sumnajoku inject. The Inspector General must take responsibility. Today we are meeting here to remind IPOA that they have a constitutional mandate to make sure that we don't have police brutality. Yet, in a document that someone saw at the Kenyatta National Hospital, they had admitted around 288 people with gunshot wounds. In three weeks, if the police can shoot more than 288, it shows that either they don't fear, they know nothing will happen to them. There's a police officer who, who shot at journalist, Kila Mutu Akiona, see all of you so. Why is he not in, in jail? So for those people who think that we've won the battle, we are just starting. For all the resources, the cabinet that has been uh, those people must go to jail and tell for all the money that they stole, for the millions that they used to flaunt around with giving people in sports and all that. So comrades, today we are meeting here to give ourselves hope that we might see some successes, but we've not won the battle yet. The battle and the mantra remains Ruto 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 Nikonja hata siwezi karanga Oehae shagala bagala Niko tayari kulipa garama Sita si mama maovu ya kitawala Sita si mama maovu ya kitawala Ufisadi ubinasi ukabila Kuza sura wataki kuza sera Undugu ni kufana Sita si mama maofu ya kitawala Sita si mama maofu ya kitawala Viva Comrades, viva! More power to the people, more power! More power to the revolution, more power! Thank you very much. A round of applause. Thank you. So the very immediate next segment is uh, first-hand account, narratives and testimonials of various victims. We are going to start with the victims of police brutality, and this, uh, this segment is going to, lead, uh, to be led by Linus Mwashigadi. Over to you.
A very good morning to all of you. We welcome you uh, to 